Now let's see what the formulae are. So the same thing that we did now from time back you have a is equal to r by i into 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 and hence what is the interest you are making r number of installments. So in the previous example we got some amount which was 10,000 into whatever is the amount you get future a. Now how many such suppose you made 10,000 rupees you made and uh, made 5 such deposits of 5. At the end of 5 periods, you deposited 10,000. So, the total amount that you deposit is R into N. And the future value of that of all those together is A. So, naturally, the interest is going to be A minus R into N. So, in the previous example, you found this out that it was um, 10,000 into 1.1 raised to 5 minus 1 upon 0 0.1 is what we got it. So, if you calculate this turns out to be whatever is the amount this turns out to be that is A minus 10,000 into 5 that is 50,000 will give you the interest which is what you is what accrues in this particular case. So, this way we calculate this. So, uh, we have this particular formula which we used, which we also found the previous time 10,000 into 1.1 raised to 5 mi minus 1. There are n, so 5 installments minus 1 upon 0 0.1. So, let's see what this turns out to be. How do we calculate? We can start by calculating this amount, that is, we calculate 1.1 raised to 5 minus 1. In the calculator, how do we do that? We key in 1.1 into equal to that makes it twice 3 times 4 times 5 times now if you see this 1.1 raised to 5 is equal to 1.61051051 so that minus 1 so minus 1 it turns out to be 0 0.61051 so that into 10,000 one zero 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 and that gives you six thousand one hundred and five point one now that is this much now you need to divide it by zero point one so divided by zero point one which turns out to be so this whole amount that is the future value of this is sixty one thousand fifty one but how much is the interest r into n is nothing but ten thousand into five 50,000. So, the interest that is i is nothing but 61051 minus 50,000 which will turn out to be 11,051 is the interest that you are getting for this particular deposit that you have made. There is 50,000 because you made 5 deposits of 10,000 rupees and hence you are getting this particular interest leg. So, this is how we can calculate the amount. Of course, we will be taking up quite a number of situations to understand this. Now, now, this is what the value will turn out to be 5 years from now. But suppose you want to find out whatever you are depositing as 10,000. Say you are doing 10,000 now. You deposit 10,000. Then the next year again you are depositing 10,000. Then again you are depositing 10,000. Then again you are depositing 10,000. Then again you are depositing 10,000. So you deposit for 5 years. Now this is the amount deposited. Suppose you want to find what the value is here now. Obviously you multiply by 1.1. But suppose you want to find out what the value of all these that you have deposited 50,000 over a period of 5 years. Is, it, is the value of this 50,000 the same as today? No. Today its value will be less than 50,000. And hence, this is at the end of first year. So, this is not going to accrue any interest. So, this will remain 10,000 only. This will, the value of this will not be 10,000, but it will be 10,000 upon 1 plus 0 0.1. Because the value of this reduces by that amount. Now, this one is after the third period. So, its value will become still less. 1 plus 0 0.1, the whole square. And this one will become upon 1 plus 
zero point one the whole square cube. I'm sorry, and this one the last installments present value with reference with today. In other words, the value of ten thousand today is ten thousand. The value of ten thousand after one year is going to be ten thousand upon one point one. If you take that as interest rate. Similarly, after two years, it's going to be ten thousand upon one point one square. So, accordingly, at the end of hence, at the end, the value of these would remain as it is. You're depositing ten thousand at the end of one year. So, at at the end of one year, the value will be ten thousand. At the end of two years, its value will be one plus zero point one. At the end of three years, its value will be ten thousand upon one plus zero point one square. So, using the same concept. Here, since there is also one one plus zero point one, the present value of all these is going to be this. The present value is not ten thousand five times. The present value will be ten thousand plus ten thousand by one point one plus ten thousand by one point one square plus ten thousand by one plus zero point one cube plus ten thousand by one plus zero point one raised to four. Now this. If you take out ten thousand and take out common, suppose this is r and this is one plus i. If you take one plus i common and if you simplify it, this whole thing present value will turn out to be r upon i. And then use the same concept; it will turn out to be one minus one by i raised to minus. And in simple words, you can even write this as one plus i raised to n. Minus one into one plus i raised to n. We can even write it this way because if we simplify and take LCM, you get this. So this much alone is the value of future future value. As we said over here, it is going to be r by i into one plus i raised to n minus one. But the present value will be you divide the future value by one plus i raised to n. You get the present value. So this is how. Is the difference between future value and present value of certain annuities that are being made at regular intervals?